What's up guys, Matt here from iTech224. Today I have an unboxing of the Canon PowerShot ELF 300HS. So I went ahead and picked this up because Best Buy had an amazing deal on it. It was $120 for this camera and it also came with a free case and a free memory card. So I went ahead and got this because I needed something that I could take around with me without having to drag around my DSLR everywhere because most of the time I don't need the full functionality of the DSLR camera except for when I'm really trying to take pictures and when I do that then I'll take my camera. But for this I wanted something that did really great video and also did some pretty decent stills so this is what it is. And I also started a vlog series just for fun, nothing serious, but just you know trying to do more videos because I like making videos so this is also a great camera for that and uh, you know it's just going to give better quality over the iPhone, which is what I was currently using. So, again, got it at Best Buy for a great, great deal. I actually got the uh, nice little carrying pouch and a 4 gig memory card. Nothing special, but is definitely good that I got that for free. So, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. So, just pop this open here. And then, let's see what we got here. So, we have warranty information. We have a CD. Now this is something, I'm actually a Nikon shooter and I really don't like Canon that much, but for power, or not power shots, but for a um, uh, point and shoot, it's not that big of a deal, it doesn't really bother me, because it, it, and it doesn't really need all the features, and they all pretty much perform the same, and Canon actually, in my opinion, has better point and shoots than Nikon, so I went ahead and picked up a Nikon, or Canon rather, but one thing I noticed is that Canons always come with software, and Nikons never do, so I don't know what that's about, but we have a digital camera solution disc. Then we have a, looks to be customer support stuff, or possibly that is the user manual, that's probably what that is. So then we have a USB to mini USB cord. I don't know why it's not black, but no, no big deal. Um, then we have, let's see, pull this up. That's where the actual camera is. And here we have the charger, which is very small and very nice. And this is actually has a blue tint to it, which is interesting. That would be black, but it's not. And this is plugs into the wall like this. Doesn't look like it comes with a extender cable, which is kind of disappointing, but you know, I'll do what you gotta do. Then we'll pull out this, which is the AV cable. So. Um, I'll actually just leave that in there, just an AV cable, probably never use this because I actually already have one, so I'll just use the one I already have. Then we have the battery and camera strap. So we have the battery here, which is supposed to last a pretty good long time. Very small battery, but it's supposed to last a long time. So we'll go ahead and cover that back up, put it aside, and then we have the camera strap. So then we'll actually pull out the camera here. So this is the camera, and this at least when it was introduced, was the thinnest 24 millimeter camera out there. So it is extremely small. And I mean, I have small hands and this is just, you know, tiny in the hands. It's actually quite amazing. So it has a pretty big screen on the back and not too many buttons, but it keeps it really simple. But you also get a lot of features with what you have here. So it goes, it's a 24 millimeter lens, ultra wide zoom. And then it goes five times opt optical zoom. So you have a big range of way to shoot in such a small package, which is really nice. So the Outsiders actually has this kind of like, it almost feels like sandpaper, which I heard some other people on YouTube say, but I was I didn't really believe that. But now that I feel it, it actually really does feel like sandpaper. Like it's not rough, but it it's, it's like, I don't know. It's an interesting texture, but it feels really nice. It's very light. Of course, I don't have the battery in there, but you know, it's very nice and initial impression, I am very impressed with this. So I'm also gonna use this camera probably for unboxings because in unboxings, a lot of the times I'll have something here and I'll move it up here, but with the DSLR, I have to refocus it and that just doesn't work for unboxings as well. So I'll probably use this because it's autofocus and it's a lot better than a DSLR. So that's what I'll use this for and also for my vlogs and also just for daily personal use. Hope you enjoyed my quick unboxing of the Canon PowerShot ELF 300HS. You can get this on Amazon for about 160 and you can look around and get it for cheaper, I'm sure. But I'll put a link for the Amazon uh, link below in the description box. 
Follow me on Twitter at Gonzo330, add me Google Plus and Facebook. All those links for that stuff will be down below in the description box as well. If you enjoyed this and enjoyed some of my other stuff, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more great content. I'm making more and more videos every day, so make sure you guys check those out. And also check out my vlog channel. I'll put that down below. It is iVlog224. And you can see what I do in my daily life. Kind of boring, but you know, some people want to know what I'm doing, so let's do that. So hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!